Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to rig a spring. So I was you know looking for the internet uh, how to rig a spring. So most of the time I found this kind of garbage for example you know you see this thing so they have this kind of rigging uh, actually don't call rigging. So I work hard and you know look for the internet and somehow I found this one. So this is the correct way to do a rigging okay. So if I select this pawn and press G you can see I can do more better and control on the rigging and you can add more control on it uh, this is basically inverse kinematics so if I okay, select like this one so you can see so you can add chain length for example up to which length you want to control this to happen if I select like this one so you can see I'm controlling up to which length I want to control it so this is much better now okay so I will tell you how to make uh, this one okay and you can also click on rotation rotate let's uncheck it rotation is not really good so so we will learn how to basically rig this kind of spring and let's increase this value up to here so if I you know press G as you can see so we have better control so let's see how to do this kind of rigging so press a uh, so just go to the object mode press a and hide all of them now first thing that we have to do is uh, i have to create a spring so how do i create it so go to the add curve and you will find something called okay called curve spirals archimedean just in case if uh, if this option is not showing go to edit preferences and add-ons 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 and type extra and make sure add extra curve objects just in case if it is not showing so add curve and curve spirals click on rk median make sure that you have same properties number of turns is 4 steps is 30 radius of growth is 0 radius is 1 so one radius means from here to here it is 1 and height is 0.5 the 0.5 basically means that from this point to this point it is 0.5 we also call this length as pitch in spring okay so this is the length of the spring before uh, compression so what we have to do is uh, uh, first of all select the spring press shift D and enter select the spring uh, you see spiral 02 go to the object and convert into mesh okay now select the spiral 1 uh, go here and click on depth and increase it as per your requirement so I think up to this point is fine now what I can do is uh, is okay so I will click on this go to the object and convert into mesh as well now I will select the spiral 2 um, okay go here and apply the skin modifier a question is why I'm applying skin modifier so if I apply the skin modifier it looks something like this so what's the purpose of skin modifier why I'm here for the rigging tutorial right so click on create armature so once you uh, click on it what will happen it will create the armature from the mesh and this, that is basically what I want so I got you know my armature you can see armature 001 because I already have armature so what I can do I can hide this because I don't want it I just only want the armature for that reason I use this command now what I have to do is press 1 select this armature press tab select this and press E X minus 1 press E Z select this right click uh, click on parent click on clear click on clear parent see we make it orphan so press G and you can see now what we can do go to the pose mode select this by pressing shift select this one now control shift C click on inverse kinematics so by default you can see it's move up to this point so if I select this one press G you can see it's moving and that is basically what I want but 
it is still not combined with this body. So what I have to do is go to the edit, make sure that you uncheck this one. Now press A by pressing shift select this spring. Okay, well, first select this, uh, select the body. After that by pressing shift select this armature, press ctrl P, click on with automatic weights. So if I select this one and press G, you can see I am getting quite a good result for spring rigging. And what I can do, select this yellow bone. So suppose you want to control up to this point. So what I can do, I can increase the chain length. Okay, I go too far. I go too far, but it doesn't matter. So you can see. <sighs> so select this one and increase the length. So this is how you can do the spring digging as per your requirement. You can add more control and you know whatever you want as per your requirement. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and have a great day. And make sure guys, please check out my new website. Uh, you will get a lot of things from there. Uh, for example, free add-ons, uh, awesome artist that are, you know, bringing their original content on Twitter. So make sure that you also check out my website. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.